our president. We have our prime minister here. We have the leader of the legislature and the, the chief justice. These are members of the executive council, even myself. Um, we all know ourselves, and uh, you know the purpose of this organization. The purpose of uh, being muscle is for the well-being of Ndibu, the well-being of the Africans. We are put in this struggle for the betterment of our people. And at the outset of this struggle, we said that we are going to pursue the issue of Jafra through non-violence from A to Z, through non-violence. It was on this premise that all our members were registered. But along the line, politicians came in and took away some of these are our members, sponsoring them for their own selfish political purposes. We started having divisions. Today, this thing has become a problem, not only to our members, but to Ndibo in general, and even to Nigeria. We feel disturbed. People continue calling. What is happening? What is happening? Talk, talk. And you see the danger in the horizon. Today, so many people are killed, not actually by the so called. Uh, Fulani has been in Nibo land, but by ourselves. Because if you attract the military into Igbo land, they kill Igbos. They will not kill the Westerners or the Northerners. They kill Igbos. At the end of the day, you find out that we, the Igbos, are the ones killing ourselves. That's mainly the purpose of this exercise. People are worried. I'm worried. I'm more worried because I started this exercise. I recruited every other member of this struggle. So the accusing finger is always on me. I want to say that at no point, at no point will Ndi will go to war with any other tribe in Nigeria. At no point will Ndi will go to war against Nigeria. Nobody will push our people into another hostility in Nigeria. We have encountered a situation where the brains of our young ones now have been bastardized. Our young ones do not reason well again. Go to the social media. Our leaders are humiliated, insulted, blackmailed, as if such is the culture of the evil man. We want to say we condemn all this in its entirety. Last time was Obibu. Even from Enugu to Obibu to Olo, who are the people dying? Our people. These people were they killed by Hausa Fulani or Fulani Hesman. This should be a concern to all of us. To all of us. Because the future is blink as far as the Igbo race is concerned. 
You see someone, someone who is not even in Nigeria, dictating what happens in Nigeria, mobilizing. They use through internet to insult their leaders, to destroy lives and property, and to hang the hopes of Umbi in despair. Now nobody sleeps with his eyes closed. People are threatened. The Ohanes and Bill, no respect. The governors, no respect. Prominent evil citizens, no respect. Threats everywhere. Those doing this thing know that they're going nowhere with it. They know that there is no way they could or they can defeat Nigeria, even if there is a war to borrow money. They know. But they foment trouble in order to enrich themselves for their own personal interests. So I want to urge you that all hands must be on deck to see that this development is deep in the board. So far, some governors have tried to stamp their foot on the ground to see that sanity prevailed. The river said, this one weekend, stood his legs on ground. I congratulated him that time. I supported him that what he did was right. Because we cannot allow anarchy to prevail. In a look, a look the other day, Hope was of him, uh, stood his grounds. I congratulate Hope was of him, uh, for the way he solved the issue of war. I urge all the Southeast and South South governors to take the cue to make sure that the Southeast and South 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 will not be turned into a state of war. I urge all other governors, we must have the goal, we must recognize our leaders, whether you believe it or not. I don't relate with Ohanese, but I respect them as the past speak of my piece of evil, evil, evil race. There must be a leader. I don't relate with even the, so, uh, the uh, Southeast governors, but I respect them. They are the elected officers of the people. They don't denigrate Ohanese and Dibu. He denigrated the governors, all evil leaders. Are we living in a state of anarchy? Then you bring in the military to start shooting our people. So many people are killed without records. Then the person is in either London or America, in his comfort zone with his family. Hi, how do you explain this? I'm here. I started this struggle over 20 years ago. I have never left Nigeria. I, suffer, I have suffered more humiliation than any other person. I have suffered more attacks than any other person. I have suffered more threat to life than any other person. But I have not left. I know the consequences of asking the youth to attack the military, to attack the police, to burn uh, uh, police uh, uh, houses or offices. Because if they do it, they will arrest me. I may be killed. But this person now is not nowhere to be found. Because if he's in Nigeria, he will never do that. He's doing today. When he was here, he never did it. Please.
please, I'm begging you all. We should embark on this project to save humanity and to save the future of our children. Because the way things are going now, there is serious problem for us. Not that anything will happen. The person involved is a nobody. I recruited him. I brought him up. I know his capacities. He's a nobody. He's a nobody, as in the word nobody. But he is inciting our youth, using their brains, and bringing them into death trap into harm's way. So many people are killed. Anywhere anything happens good, I encourage it. Do you understand it? I anywhere anything, any bad thing happens, I condemn it. Anybody can say anything he likes. Even the other day, when uh, there was a problem between Okorosha and the uh, Rogers, I said, I, I congratulated um, Hopos or Demma, sorry, between Hopos or Demma and the uh, Rogers. The, I congratulated Hopos or Demma because nobody should take the resources of a state as its own personal uh, property, or uh, the governance of a state as its own family governance. So if you go there and steal the property of the state and come back, I will congratulate anybody that wants to get it out from you. I'm not part of the system, but I, I say what is right. So what I'm saying today against Nam I will say it against any other person that causes the death of our people. If he changes tomorrow and starts doing the right thing, I welcome him and say, congratulations. So please, gentlemen, we must always learn to uphold the culture of evil lives, of evil race. Respect our leaders. Even if they are so wrong, we caution them. But we mustn't insult or denigrate them. In Nigeria today, Every tribe talks about uh, their, their sons and daughters being the president. There's no, nothing wrong if uh, the people said they want to be president. It doesn't stop us as being myself from pursuing the cause of Biafra. If an evil man becomes the president of Nigeria, it doesn't stop being myself from talking about Biafra. We still will, if we, even we want Biafra more than anything then. But our asking for Biafra can never stop Ndibu or usurp their right of seeking uh, or, or asking for president in Nigeria because they are voting for others. Others should vote for them. It doesn't mean that if I say today, oh, uh, Ndibu should ask for their president or whatever right in Nigeria, that I'm leaving or by pocketing or discharging my obligations as the leader of Biafra. Or mass up. But when once you talk about some renegade somewhere, you, say, you are a saboteur, they are this, they have given you money, blah, blah, blah. What for? Any evil man that speaks anything is how Sapul and a wife uh, he had to put over. <laughs> All this nonsense. Please thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.